Hi, I'm John Hornick. Welcome to my Impress Your Date series. This is pasta carbonara. This is my version of one of the world's great dishes. Simple but delicious. I'm sure your date will agree. Most pasta dishes are about the sauce. This one lets the pasta shine through. I use angel hair or capellini, but you could use linguine or spaghetti or even bucatini. I also use only egg yolks. Many recipes for pasta carbonara call for whole eggs. I use egg yolks because it makes for a richer dish. I also use bacon instead of pancetta. I boil the bacon, then simmer it for five to 10 minutes, and then blot it dry, and then cook it in the pan. This is very similar to the pancetta. You can use pancetta if you want, but I think the, the uh, bacon is just as good. So let's start cooking. Okay, the first step is to bring our pasta water to a boil, and we should have enough salt in there that um, the water tastes like the ocean, okay? I cover it, that'll bring it to a boil faster. Okay, now the next step is going to be to sweat the shallots. Now, if you have a lot of fat in the pan from the bacon, you want to skim some of it out. So you've got about, you know, one tablespoon or a little bit more in there. But actually, it didn't render a lot of fat, so we're going to add a little bit of olive oil. Uh, also, why are we using a, a, a pan this big? Uh, we're using it because the pasta is going to go in here later. We're doing for two tonight, so we have a pan that can hold enough pasta for two. If I was doing for four, I'd use a bigger pan than this. Okay, so we're going to let that um, just warm up, and we're going to add the, um, the shallots. And uh, we want them to um, get translucent. That's what sweating is, sweating out the moisture. But we don't want them to uh, start to brown. So make sure our heat's about right. I've ha I have it on like uh, just a little bit below medium. OK, our shallots are looking nice and translucent. We're going to add the garlic. And remember, garlic burns fast and easy, although our heat's not real high right now, so I don't have to worry too much. But uh, we want to keep a close eye on it so that it doesn't burn. It gets well coated with the oil. Move it around in the pan. Okay, now we want to deglaze with some white wine. About, uh, about a quarter of a cup. And now we want to just let this reduce until it is just wet or almost dry. Okay, that's looking good. So what we're going to do is take it off the heat, but we're going to keep it warm. Okay, our pasta water is boiling, so we're going to uh, drop our pasta in there. Now, if you're using dried pasta, the box is going to tell you how much time to cook it. Cook it about a minute less than the box says. If you're using homemade pasta, which you're going to cook for maybe about a minute, just cook it for like 45 seconds. The reason is because we're going to be cooking it a bit more when we get it into the skillet. Okay, it's been cooking for about three minutes. What we want to do now is drain the water out of it and then we're going to put it directly into the skillet. Okay, now we're going to give it a little bit of salt, some freshly ground black pepper, Then we're going to stir in the eggs. Then I want to put the heat on low. Now, we want the heat to be low because we want this egg to warm and cook a little bit, but we do not want it to scramble. Stir it up pretty well. Now we're going to stir in the bacon. Now we're going to stir in some cheese. How much cheese? Depends on how much cheese you like. You're just going to have to eyeball it. I like a fairly good amount. I want to get a good coating on that pasta. 
Then what I like to do is to loosen it up a little bit by taking a, a little bit of the pasta water. Some people think pasta water is like gold. And putting that in there, it loosens it up a little bit. It adds some extra flavor. Good. Okay, now we're gonna let that warm for just a minute. And then we're gonna plate up. Okay, I've divided the pasta up into bowls, so we're just gonna give it a twist of pepper and a little bit of garnish of parsley. And there we have it. That's his pasta carbonara, one of the world's great dishes. You can see photos of the final dish on my Instagram, which is at Chef's Apprentice, cook like a pro. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.